Welcome to the Total Health Kitchen. I'm Dr. Scott, and today we're going to show you how to make my hyperhydration drink. We've all heard how important hydration is, right? But do we actually know how to hydrate the body effectively? Just drink water, right? Well, yes and no. So today, I'm going to show you how to optimize hydration with my hyperhydration drink. The key to hydration is electrolytes. We've all heard about electrolytes thanks to savvy sports drink marketers, right? like artificial colors, sweeteners, um, not to mention one or two low quality minerals for electrolytes. Well, you get my point. The body needs electrolytes for proper absorption and hydration. Electrolytes are substances that ionize when dissolved in water. It's this ionization that helps transport water into the cells for cellular hydration. In fact, if you drink a lot of water without electrolytes, you can dehydrate yourself by creating an imbalance in the intracellular and extracellular fluid. So the basic recipe is 12 ounce glasses of a 12 ounce glass of water, um, good quality uh, filtered water or spring water. And spring water is actually better because it already has some minerals in it. We're gonna do an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna do a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And then optional, you can add some lemon or you can add um, some essential oil lemon drops. Once we take our water, we're going to pour this into our cup here. We could use a glass. Then uh, we're going to take our salt. So sodium itself is a fantastic electrolyte, but if we use one of these quality salts that I have here, um, like the Redmond's Real Salt, this is actually a salt from a salt bed out in Utah, and it has over 90 different trace minerals in it. Uh, this is the Himalayan Pink Salt, which many people have heard of. And again, this comes from the Himalayan mountains, and this also has over 90 different trace minerals. Um, so this is gonna provide all the essential electrolytes that you need just with that salt alone, which is, which is really important. The next thing we're gonna do is apple cider vinegar. So we're gonna pour that in there. Now, it's good to use a good organic apple cider vinegar, and you wanna use one that has the mother in it. So the mother is that stuff that gets in the bottom of the container that looks kind of gross. But that's where a lot of your um, probiotics and fermentation, a lot of the good minerals come from. So it's good to get a good quality apple cider vinegar. Now, um, apple cider vinegar, vinegar is a potassium rich alkalizing addition. This can help aid with digestion, lower blood pressure, improve digestion. It can even help with weight loss. Due to its powerful healing compounds, things like acetic acid, potassium, magnesium, uh, probiotics, and the enzymes. So some other optional things you can do, that alone is all you need to do. Um, just drink that first thing in the morning. But if you want to add a little extra, you can take some essential oil lemon drops and that can add a nice little flavor to it. So um, the lemon, you can use orange, you can use peppermint, whatever you want to do. But remember to always use 100% certified pure food grade essential oils that are labeled for essential use. And that's gonna help make sure that you're getting good quality oils. So that is the hyperhydration drink. Thanks for watching another episode of Total Health Kitchen. I hope this episode helps you improve your quality of life.